More people are coming forward with a rare form of eye cancer, but doctors still don't know what's causing it. The disease is called ocular melanoma, and it typically occurs in just six out of every one million people. First, a group of 18 patients was identified in Huntersville, North Carolina, then a second group in Auburn, Alabama, home of Auburn University. But another piece to this unusual story has emerged. It caught the attention of our own Renee Skinner. She joins us now, and Renee, a, look, a local woman with the same disease, has a connection to Auburn University. That's right, Eric. Starkville teacher and mom Megan Johnson was diagnosed with this eye cancer over a year ago. She reached out to us after we first aired the story in early May. Take a look. It was supposed to be the happiest time of her life. I just received this devastating news, but my little boy, I mean, that is my biggest inspiration. And then, in the blink of an eye, things changed for Starkville teacher and mom. Megan Johnson. I was about four months pregnant and I was just outside one night and it was like a comet just flew up in my left eye and then I started noticing some purple spots. All of a sudden, her vision didn't look as clear. And being a concerned and expecting parent, Megan did what any person would do. I like to Google everything. It said that, you know, women, when they're pregnant, they may have vision problems. Mm -hmm. So I just assumed it had something to do with my pregnancy. But a trip to an optometrist and then to an ophthalmologist after Megan gave birth led to a startling discovery. On March 15, 2016, Megan was diagnosed with ocular melanoma in her left eye. It wasn't until a few appointments later where I understood like the severity of what was going to happen. Then Megan realized she's not alone. Back in early May, we ran a CBS News report about a group of friends, all of them women, who were diagnosed with ocular melanoma. Oddly enough, these women all attended Auburn University. Here's where Megan's Auburn connection comes in. An album of pictures to help connect the dots. Oh, that's dance Megan says she lived in Auburn when she was a child. It turns out her father was a professor at the university from 1983 to 1985. That's around the same time frame these women with the same disease were there. It's been such a positive thing because they have really put a face to this very rare cancer and are getting um, noticed, which can definitely help raise awareness and raise money for research, help find a cure. So it's been awesome. In fact, I mean, I've had some messaging back and forth with Ashley McCrary. And while optometrists like Dr. Stacy Moore believe research is definitely needed, Here's what we do know about the disease. When we do see those uh, cases of ocular melanoma are in the back of the eye. So it's important to go to have your eyes checked and have your eyes dilated so the doctor can assess if there's some pigmentation, a collection of cells that don't look like they should be there. Dr. Moore says there are a couple of options for treatment. One involves removing the eye completely. You hope that it is contained in the eye itself. The hope there is that it did not go through the bloodstream into other parts and other organs in the body. The other option? If we can treat this in another way and I can keep my eye, I would like to. Radiation therapy. They sow these radioactive seeds on the back of your eye on the tumor. Um, that's one way to treat it. And like the thoughts going through my head are just kind of like, you know, I have to do this. And that survival attitude sustained Megan and her family until a year and a half later. Some good news from the doctor. The tumor is regressing. It's, it's dead. It's not coming back. Even though she still suffers from vision loss, Megan's overall view and perspective is a little brighter. If something doesn't feel right, yeah. go get it checked out. Now, money for ocular melanoma research in Alabama has not been made available. According to CBS News, both the state and Auburn University declined to offer funding. But there's also a Facebook page set up for people diagnosed with ocular melanoma to connect.